So what, what do you have left in the recruiting process right now? I mean, have you taken any visits? Uh, yes, I took two officials, okay. uh, UW and Utah. So okay. I have three more left. And scheduled? Uh, so scheduled, I don't know yet, but for sure I'll be back in the SEC. So Tennessee and Alabama for surely. Okay. And then uh, I'm still, I'm not, I don't think I'll be taking a visit to Cal. And then I'm still debating if I should go to Oregon or USC. What would take you to USC? Uh, it's closer. Uh, it's closer to home, and then the uh, coach Nansen down there and the Polynesian uh, thing that's going on down there. USC, I'm hearing, has tried to get you to visit a bunch of times. Yeah. It's never worked out. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, and it didn't seem like there was much interest in USC throughout this process. What, yeah. what changed that? Uh, you know, I went down there my sophomore year, and then I, I took an unofficial there with Tully. You know, he was committed and decommitted. Yeah. So I went down there to see what they were doing going on on my unofficial. Uh, and then after that, you know, I just felt like I, I seen everything I wanted to see. Okay. And then uh, I just liked what I seen down there. But, you know, in my back of my head, I still want to go down there and take a visit. But okay. who knows if I have time. Um, is Michael Hutchings anybody that yeah. you, you talk to? Is, is, he, is he, like, trying to get you? Is he yeah. one of the reasons you, you may go? Uh, probably. Maybe, you know, because he's around and he's an alumni for De La Salle. But, yeah. Uh, he, he's, he's a great dude. He just tells me to whatever whatever fits me best. All right. you know, he, he's he's not pushing me to go to USC, but you know, and but, you know, he's that's what he's arching for. What is a good fit for you? What what would make a school a good fit? Uh, somewhere where I could push myself and not depend on uh, my family. You know, somewhere where I'll grow and learn things on my own, and then being able to depend on the people around the school area. Okay. Yeah. How big is the football part, and how big is the, the academic and, and what a school offers you besides football? Uh, academics is way bigger than school. You know, uh, my, my dad always taught me uh, football is the key to, to free free education. So okay. uh, that's kind of what I'm using it right now for. And then you know whatever happens, football is going to come to an end soon. So yeah. You can just kind of tell without knowing you that you're putting a lot of thought into this process. You haven't committed. You're yeah. still going to take your visits. Yeah. Um, <laughs> oh, man. Is there a school that's just like ahead right now for you that's like going to be hard to beat? Uh, Probably UW and Alabama. Okay. Yeah, so they're probably at the top right now. How, how come UW and, and Alabama? Uh, just just how it feels down there. Come on. And my man Jonah, you know what I'm saying? I Jonah. No, I got his phone, so like he wants his phone back. Look, 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 look. Let me see. I don't want it back like that. I just want to... All right. Oh, come on. Oh, now I got two, you know what I'm saying? So, Henry, uh... Like, you're a big deal, Henry. Yes, sir. I mean, you, you really are. All right, well, so we... So, <laughs> Where's he gonna go to school? Henry, uh, oh Henry's God. coming to Oregon with me. See, see, this we'll is see what Oregon fans want to see. We'll see what I go if I go down there at the end of the month. You going yeah. down there? We'll see. Ah, oh, come on, man. <laughs> <laughs>